friends, this is Shifaqat Ali and welcome back to another video on Android development. In the previous video, we will learn how we add fragment to activity using XML. Now in this video, we will learn how we add fragment to activity at a runtime. So let's create a new project. Select empty activity and click on next. Here type the name of the project. and click on finish here we need to create three fragments so let's create one by one click on this folder select new select fragment and select blank fragment here you need to type a name, I type home fragment, uncheck this factory method and interface all back. Again go to this folder, select new, fragment, blank fragment. Type the name of the fragment, first fragment, uncheck these methods, click on finish, again select new go to a fragment and blank fragment a second fragment check this factory method and callback function okay our fragment are successfully created now design one by one go to the home fragment here we need a button and a text view. Text view is for, for identifying the fragment and button is used for to send the next fragment. Click on the text and here remove everything. Select the constraint layout. Go to the design. Select a text view. Select the constraint, left, right, and top side. Okay, increase the width of the button. Sorry, text view. Okay, now search here text and type here home thread. Okay, now select the gravity and select center, select the text size, should be 24 and style should be bold. Okay, now select the button. Add the constraint. Increase the width. Okay. Now select text. Go to first fragment. Go to the text and select the background color. It should be primary dark. Okay. Now select. Sorry, we have something missing. Okay, button ID. Go to okay now copy all code and go to the first fragment text and select all text code and paste it here now change the 
text of the text view first fragment scroll down and change the id of this go to the second fragment here type second okay now change the background color it should be primary and now go to the second fragment and again paste all the code and remove the background color it should be color ASIN and second fragment scroll down and go to the first fragment again and change the id to again and change the id to again okay now go to the main activity.xml just remove this text view go to design and search here frame layout drag it here and select this button to add the constraint okay now give the id container okay now go to the main activity dot java here public static fragment manager fragment manager and then fragment manager is equal okay now here we check some conditions if r dot id dot sorry find view by id r dot id dot container if container is not null then we add next fragment okay you can see here main activity here is container if this container is not null then we need to add this fragments on this container now go to main activity again here check one more conditions if save instant state is not is equal to null then simply return it means that if our container is already working mean that our fragment is already working on this container then we simply return there is no need to add again here outside of if, if condition we need to add fragment so fragment manager dot begin transactions dot add here there are three parameters first parameter is container so r dot id dot sorry r dot id dot container and the objects of the new fragments new home fragments and the third parameter is string so it may be null okay and dot commits okay now let's check Here you can see home fragment is added now. Now we need to add a set on click listener to add a new fragment. So let's code it. Now go to the home fragment. Here initialize the button.
here here returning the object of this inflator layout inflate layout so we need to create first object of this view and then return view now here we need to initialize the button view dot find view by id or dot id dot go to the first fragment okay now go to first fragment dot set on click listener new on click listener okay now here we repeat this process as we code in main activity dot java here main activity dot fragment manager dot begin cross section dot replace now we use method replace instead of add so first parameter is r dot id dot container as i told you in the main activity and the next parameter is the next fragment new first fragment and the third parameter is null dot apply r commit okay similarly go to the first fragment here again we need to initialize the button go to second fragment and again we remove this return and create a view object and then return the object now here initialize the button dot id dot go to the second fragment okay now go to the second fragment dot set on click listener new on click listener now again repeat same method main activity dot fragment manager dot begin cross section dot place here first parameter is container or dot id dot container and the second parameter is new fragment object of new fragment so our new fragment is second fragment and the third parameter is tag which is null and dot commit method okay now in the second activity again create the button create the button now again remove this return to create separate view object and then return this object below Here initialize the button view dot find view by id r dot id dot go to the first fragment again. Okay, now go to the first fragment again. Is not activity should be fragment. Go 
uh, set on click listener new on click listener main activity dot fragment dot begin transaction dot place first parameter is container second parameter object of new fragment here we home fragment is over first fragment dot commit section must be null okay now let's test the applications you can see application is running on emulator now here is home fragment and when you click on the first fragment so open the first fragment and then click on the second fragment button you can see it's open again second fragment now click on again you can see again home fragment is open so our project is successfully working so see you in next video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel thank you very much